Hello and welcome back to Foundry. In our last episode, we set up the uh, steel uh, smelting and uh, assembly process up there on the very top floor of the the building we we're slowly building, and we uh, we got the uh, xenoferrite from way out there in the desert. Uh, let's see, we can see it here on the map, and we we're belting that all the way in because, as far as I know, that's the only logistic act uh, we can we can actually do here. Logistic. Uh, uh, carrying method we can do here and then we're getting the ignium from a new mine underneath the uh, underneath that building uh, that we set up a couple ago i think a couple of episodes ago so um you may notice this is slightly different i have removed the uh, elevator from this elevator shaft, uh, the uh, the shaft is still obviously there because you can't fill it back in that easily. Um, but I just paved it over with with construction blocks, and we have uh, our setup for uh, igneum fuel rods that we're going to hopefully be able to finish up today and turn on the um, turn on the green science because that's the last component of it that we actually need. So let's uh, stop wasting time and get to work. So as I was trying to empty out the uh, the freight elevator and the miner that was down below and whatnot, um, I dumped as much of the uh, xenoferrite as I, or the ignium, no, yes, ignium as I could into this chain, thinking that would eat up a good chunk of it, but it doesn't. So uh, then I said, well, let's just put it into a box. So I did. And so it's here in this box now, and... Um, when these things need to burn, they'll burn from there, and we'll figure out what we're going to do about it later if we need to figure out something else about it later. And then all the uh, old minor components are all in here, uh, almost all of them. I didn't put the last bit in there, the real mining depot, but all those rails <laughs> that were in the lift and on the belts and whatnot are all in there now. Okay, so uh, now that we've taken out that, um, we need to rearrange this stuff a little bit because... Oh no, that's actually in a perfect spot. Great. All right, let's uh, let's move this um, xenoferrite belt over. Uh, do 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 do. Let's see, uh, five, but tab to two, and we need to come up. No, up, up, Wally, up. And then this will come this way and that way. No, that's not what you wanted, Wally. Stop. I have to pick all this up, actually. Uh, let's do that and this. And I'm out of those belts, which doesn't surprise me. Control Z, and we'll just take this whole belt up, and we'll have an inventory full of xenoferrite you know, plates that we use after about five minutes of doing something. Oh, that's right. We can't go that far. Uh, there, and then there. Control Z again. Into there and there. So this will cover the uh, xenoferrite stretch. Can I keep going? I think I can just keep going. Well, I can't go any further than that anyway. And then here you go into there. I don't know where, I oh, know where you came from. My imagination, not really. Uh, X, please, there we go. And I'm gonna need to make some more of these belts, which is good because I picked up, actually I didn't pick up. That's good. So we have Tectum. We have Xenoferret Plates. Uh, the next belt will be Steel, which we haven't run yet. So let's run that one. That's going to come out of here. Uh, output. Here. And this is only 150, so we can go with a Mark 1 belt on this, which that means that I converted all those uh, Mark 2 belts for no reason. Well for no reason, but uh, let's go out. I get to figure out where I need to go out, but I also need to go get some more belts. Let's go get some more Mark 1 belts. Well, maybe I should make some since I have a crap ton of Xenoferrite plates in my inventory now. Actually, not a crap ton. I only have 246. Even better. That's why picking up from the, uh, from the belt doesn't really help you much. There's not that much on the belt. We're much better off going here. That's 200. I'll grab another stack. You can always use them. That at least use up some of what's on the on the bus and get some get some things moving again because the base actually hasn't been moving in a little while. It's been a little bit stagnant. Uh, let's see. 
This I need to be a little bit uh, careful with. Let's see, where can I go? X. Uh, right there, I guess it is. Yep, right there. That's where the steel belt will come out to. Okay, and that means that... Oh, perfect. Perfect. Excuse me there, tree. We can run these power poles right down the middle of that. Then we can make a little turn here. Uh, this way. And this needs to go up, I think, basically right away. Uh, I guess we should put in a... guide point here. Like that. Okay, we can remove that one. We're in line here now. Uh, that means we can do this. Up. And then we can do this. Alright. And you can truck along this way. Stop right there. Remove this one. And we can keep on going. Uh, that's steel, isn't it? I believe so. Yes, it is. All right, so control Z here, out to here. Perfect. Let that keep coming. And then I was going to put uh, Ignium here, but that actually doesn't make sense because the Ignium is going to go straight into this assembly. So this line should actually be for the concrete later, which means that the Ignium should come along this point, which is, of course, um, in the way of all this stuff. But that's fine because uh, we can we can route it around for now, and then when we rip up all this, we can we can deal with it that way. Uh, let's do and actually I could even take from here and merge it in. Yeah, let's route it around and we'll get from we'll get it from there. Okay, so we have uh, the igneum coming here. Uh, this is gonna go output, please, and then we need to go. Mm, mm, Maybe that way. I'll have to go up and over, of course. And I should probably even plan out where this is supposed to go. Uh, so this is going to go... One... Two, three, four. That means you need to go away. This goes away. Th that one's for the uh, concrete here. And then this one's for the, uh, for the igneum. Okay. So we need to come up over this. And then we need to go back down. At least for now, here. I may change it later. And then you can go this way. And you can go that way. Alright, that'll work for now. This may all get changed at any given time later on, so... Subject to conditions. All right, come along with me. This will go this way. And instead of veering around and going that way, at least for right now, we're just going to go straight into that. We're going to turn here. Uh, nope, not Z. X, please. And I think I should do as I suggested and take from here and connect it up here, which means, in fact, I should put a distributor in here and I should do a priority input from the left so that this comes out first before we take from here. It's not going to matter much for very long, but we're going to do it anyway. And then you can come back this way. I'm not going to hook that up yet, though, because I don't want that to drain out before I'm ready to not have this power hooked up. So we're going to do that later. All right, so this is hooked up. Uh, obviously, there's already Igneum on the belt from my experimentation, or my uh, whatever you want to call it from before. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is hook up the Technum. The Technum needs to go into this building here. 
uh, as an input. And then into all of these here, and they're ready for it. They have a small stockpile of uh, powder, and they're ready to go. So we need to split off from the Tectum here, ramp down, and then turn. So uh, you're going to go here in line with that, and I could actually just draw the whole belt if I wanted to. So I do. And then we want to ramp down here. And we want to take out these two and put in a Mark II distributor. And yes, this is splitting off of the bus before the storages. I don't really care. Um, there's not really that much need for a, for a priority shift here because, or a priority choice here, because we're not using all 320 anyway. And a small amount that's going to go here, which is, I think it was like 80 or something. Which isn't a small amount, but we have 40 per minute plus I think it's 8 times 7 or 6 times 7. I think it's a 6. 6 times 7 is 42. Ah, here we go. We have, we have the fiddly bits now. All right, so those are going in here. Uh, we have the wire already coming in from there. So now we just need to make the casings here which require the uh, advanced machinery parts and the xenoferrite steel beams. So let's come over here. Uh, I think we're going to split the beams off first. Makes more sense. We might as well just do them here. I think I'm going to take them... Uh, we'll take them out like here, maybe. Put our splitter in. This can just be a Mark One splitter distributor. And then we can go this way with it. And it can connect up to that. If I got it all the way there, I did. Great. There you go. Thank you, friends. And then we need to continue the um, the the uh, machinery parts belt here to connect up to the other one over there. And we'll do that here. And of course, there's a power pole in my way. Uh, let's see. I think I can probably move this slightly. You're wanting to go right there, but we can't. So we're going to go right there with it. And then I think I can still... Yes, I can. Yes, I can. That works for me. Now, if only I can get back up here. And then we'll do X and here. There. A little bit of editing I'm going to need to do. Of the trees. Let's jump down and delete this tree. And delete this tree. You can come back with me. Oh, good good shot, Wally. Good shot. Alright, so that hooked up. And now we can go over here. Nope. Over here. I should see these things kicking off momentarily. There they go. So now that's going to output onto this belt, which is going to take from the burners that we put out somewhere out there, uh, but then it's going to add those onto this belt. There they go. And then they're going to get sucked into here, these casings, and uh, we are making fuel rods. Great. So now the fuel rods need to come out from here, and I think I'm going to keep them down at this level until they cross underneath to go to... Do I have any of those steps still made, or did I use them all? Apparently... Oh, I gotta get some, rid of some igneum ore there, too. I apparently used them all. Let's make just a few. Uh, and we can put them in right in here for now. Although... Actually, no. Nope. I need this to be wider. And then I can go step. Don't have any logistic container ones in my storage here. Let's just make another one. There you are. There you are. And then we need to have an input here. Oops, I didn't toggle it. Or I didn't uh, right click toggle it. Uh, this will be a nice belt here, if I can get underneath there. Ooh, what happened here? I'll put no power. 
Oh, I didn't connect this back up. Oopsie. Uh, you can go here still. That's fine. There we go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Chief. And then you go that way. I don't know how far it goes. We'll start out there. Uh, it's, it's coming this way, so it's fine. Um, this actually needs to split right away. Uh, after the output, that is. Because um, eventually it's going to be um, outputting toward the burners for their fuel. And then it's going to be outputting toward the bus this way. So we'll have this put the splitter in right away because we might as well. And then we'll go this way. And then this can come back. Oopsie. To not that close. You go there. Oh no, I connected this to the wrong machine. <laughs> All right. Oopsie. Uh, come on, that's this way then. Let's do uh, one by 16 by one. That was wire. I need to go dump that in, in here. There you go. Wire coils. I already had this the thing here, so we can just do that again. Jump back down here and then go this way so I didn't do that one one more here a uh, lift or a ramp rather here uh, this is an up slope and then you can go this way uh, that's not right There you go. Okay. And I happen to have a couple of them in my inventory now. All right, let's go. And we'll let those just, um, I mean, they're gonna come in slowly and now. One every, was it eight seconds, seven and a half seconds? I think seven and a half seconds. Um, but we don't need that many, uh, coming this way anyway. Uh, what we'll do here is we will priority output to the right that way they'll go out to the burners first because keeping power running is more important than keeping uh, either this box full, which I should actually change the limits on. I think I fixed this one last time. Yeah, four, four, and let's do four also. Uh, I wonder if this is taking from the locked slots first. I don't think it is. Uh, that's something I, that I hope they do change, is that if if it doesn't prioritize taking from the last slot first, at least it prioritizes taking from the locked slots first, because um, these are for the player to come and add stuff into, like if they had too much crap in the inventory. So being able to have these be empty first and always, if at all possible, uh, makes a little bit more sense from a player perspective than having it empty and refill these all the time. So I hope they change at least that, if not the whole priority of logistic containers, to always take from the end, or even always take from the partial stacks before the full stacks. Um, however they want to implement it there, but uh, that would be, it's kind of a, a quality of life thing that I would that I would like to see. Okay, so from here now, uh, we currently have the Ignium being, that's still left over from here being burned. Um, we want to get some more power set up out in the boonies a little bit. So let's set up, um, let's just set up two more for now. So we'll have four of them out there. I don't know how much we'll actually need. Uh, these aren't using, even using an, uh, all of the ignium that they possibly can. They're using about eh, half. So, um, we don't really need a lot, but... Uh, it would still be a good thing to have a little bit extra buffer set up once I kick this factory back on after so much downtime. So I'm going to take just a two-width uh, foundation thing out here. And I think I'm going to um, take this belt with me too. Well, kind of. You come this way and then come back. Uh, uh, 
this way. And I'll take these belts together, basically. Out there. Maybe I should widen this a little bit then. I have a bunch of trees to delete anyway. X, please. Can I delete the tree from up here? I sure can. Delicious. Uh, that one could need to go too, I think. Okay. And this belt is coming this way. I don't need to go way out here. I just wanted to kind of come out where base isn't. Oh, wow. I've already burned through all those belts. Let's go get some more. I need to put lights up here too. And the only light that's left is the or the lights that are here from the previous build. I should put lights up for the whole thing. I thought it took 300. Guess not. This belt goes this way. And I think we'll just kind of go in this area. Uh, can I delete you? Yes. Can I delete? like this. I'm just going to give myself a nice big patio here, and I'm just going to go fill in the holes a little bit. Or, uh, empty out the holes first. At least I'm not killing cactuses today, uh, Ghost Fight. Actually, I can do it like that. And then I can do this part. And I don't know if this is the right size. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, what I want to do here... So let's say that the output belt for a set of burners comes this way. Uh, and they can just side load onto this, I think. I think that would be fine. Yeah, I think that would be fine. Because they shouldn't, they should hopefully not back up. And then we need to take these. And I want to face the panels inward. I'm going to go maybe here. And here. So this one will come down because I'm going to have a second row. So I need this to be a little bit wider. I actually planned this kind of close. Or didn't plan it kind of close. I'm already out of foundations again. Um, and then this is going to continue along this way. To pick up from the other side, the other outside of these. And then, let's see, power I'll run down the middle. And we'll also have a belt of uh, fuel rods coming down the middle here. Uh, go like that, which means I need to have a bit of room here for this to either go over or under. Uh, we could do under. That's always fun. This will go here, though, to split this belt of fuel rods, which I'm not going to connect up just yet to here. And then this would this could continue along to another set of rows if we needed it to. And then we could go under. Under is thunder. Go slope down. I think there. Uh, X. There we go. I think that's. Correct, because I shouldn't be able to build... Yeah, I can't build right here, so that's perfect. And then we need to figure out the other side. Which actually might be too far away. One, two, three, four from there. Um, one, two, three... Ooh, this is 
Is this disturbingly perfect, or uh, did I get lucky, or what? There. There. And then we connect that belt together, going this way. I need some of those stairs here again. Then get up here. Let's put them here, maybe. Oops. Oh. Oh, I was looking for these, I think, when I was building with them before. Let's go experiment. Uh, I think that's perfect. And I still can't put a block there, so that's that's correct. And so then we just connect this up. Why you know. There we, there we go. Okay. Just connect this up to there. And then we'll have to do power here and loaders here. Uh, let's do power poles uh, here near the center. It'll be offset from one or the other, so that's fine. That'll go here. Uh, let's connect you to there, you to there, and to there. And these will connect to the other side as well. Uh, will that work? One, two, three, four connections. Yep, that'll work. And then we need loaders, we need some more loaders, and we need more power poles too. Because we have to run this back to base. Uh, this side's gonna load first, arbitrarily. Oh, that was, those should have been inputs. There, and there. And those are running, even though we don't want them to just quite yet. I need more power lines too, power cables too. I might need to go get some more technum rods for that. Go here. This is what the third line is for. To go here. Let me do this back. Well, that's fine. I think I'm going to have to go right there. No, actually. I'm going to have to go here, though. Still too far off, I think. There. And then you can connect up to that one. So now we should have a decent amount of power in this grid. These guys are burning, and they do have residuals. Good. So thank you, uh... Sorry, I've forgotten who. Ryan, I think? Oh, jeez, Wally. No. Uh, I think it's I think it's Jan. Uh, thank you for for uh, pointing out that I that these would be returning in that residual slot, uh, the empty casings. So uh, that means we can do loaders here, and we'll just go. Oh, these are outputs. There. Oh, there they went. I didn't see it leave. Okay, great. And then uh, this one here, right there. And I don't need this space here. There it goes. Nice. So these are going to burn for a long, long time, though. Uh, 7.5 megawatts. These had 200 megajoules. So, 200 megajoules divided by 7.5 megawatts means these will burn, if they're used, used at full speed, these will burn at, these will burn for 26.67 seconds each, which is not nothing. All right, so that's going to come back. Uh, so, what we want to do now is connect up this igneum coming out of here, as previously prescribed, this way this way. Oops, too far. And then these can actually get disconnected. I also want to drop off the igneum I have in my inventory right here. And you guys are going to burn through the igneum you have. I think I could pull out what's left, though, just to keep you from burning for too much longer. And I, That means I got more igneum to drop off. And then these two can get moved down to the other end as well. Uh, 
while they're kind of cooling down and we're doing other things, uh, or while things are, other things are happening, we don't really need those two anyway. Let's come all the way down here to the end of the bus. This is where we started making the uh, those parts. Uh, oh, I need more. Come down here to the end of the bus to pick up some of these. Not really, but you know. Oh, don't do that. This, please. That, please. Uh, now we need to make our green science packs. Yay! Let's do this, although technically maybe I shouldn't put them here. Do you want to stick with that rule? Eh, maybe. Let's cut this slot out here, at least for now. And then, so this is going to have three items coming in, and then one item going out. Oops for that, and I think I'm going to shift this over a little bit for it as well. Uh, let's do... Let's do a... Do I have any? I don't see any. Oh, we also need to do... To look at this recipe in the machines. Because we're making 20 of these per minute. We have a decent amount of the other two things as well. Uh, this is going to be lined up here. I think three away. I think that's correct. And this is going to be for green science packs. Uh, this is going to make two per minute. This is currently making two per minute. And this down here, jumpy, jumpy, bouncy, is making two per minute. Wait a minute. I have two of these. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. So I have to double the uh, red science uh, yet. Um, but we're good with just one green science assembler for now. Uh, because we want this to produce a two per minute. So that if I pick any random science here, we get... This takes, uh, I guess, 50 minutes to make, but we need to double the pack two so they're equal with the pack one, which are uh, making, um, uh, that are only making, this one's making four per second, which is 50 seconds, or four per minute, which is 50 minutes, and this is making two per minute, which is 100 minutes. So we definitely have to double our science pack twos, and it's looking like we might even need to double even need to do more than that, but that would be uh, a little bit later, I think. All right, so we have inputs here for this one. Let's go here and this one. We'll have a slow belt here because we're only getting in 30, 20, and two. And then we have another slow belt here. And then we'll have one on this side as well. Two more there. Here. Okay, so since, let's see, we have uh, electronics are the first thing on the bus. So that will come first. Uh, so we'll take out from here. Come to this point. A bunch of these. Down, please. There. And then we need to back this up by a couple of spaces. And then we can do this. Fly falling off. There. Perfect. Um... This might be too close to do unless I did some shenanigans here. So I think I will do the these going into that spot uh, because otherwise I'd have to I could split them off obviously early right here or something and take to have taken them over. Um, but and I could do some other something here to split them off too. I could even keep them down at this lower height, split them and then bring them up to the bus. But I think I want to try and be consistent with the bus build just for random reasons. So let's do this here, out to here, a ramp up, a ramp down actually, and then one of these, there, 
perfect fit every time. You stand on these, by the way. Oh yeah, you can. Nice. And then we need to get a little bit more belt. Couple hundred more belt. And let's go down here and bring the fuel rods down. Most of them are probably still getting shoved that way. Uh, yeah, they're still getting shoved that way. But there's still a few in this in this bucket, so we should be good to go. Uh, you get output here. Yeah, there's 39 in there. That'll keep us going for, uh, is it two per craft? And the craft is two minutes. Or two per minute, so... Um, is two science per minute anyway for 20 minutes almost 19 and a half all right you can go like to here for now and then we'll bring this along let's see not oh yes there yes there this goes here uh, we need another splitter distributor you go here and you goes here. Goes here. Eh. Can't. Couldn't make the jump. Here they come. All 39 or whatever them. But like I said, we'll get more. Eventually this belt will be full and backed up into the box. Oops, sorry. And there it goes. Yeah, this crafts... Oh, sorry, it uses... Yeah, it uses two per minute. So, it's basically one per science pack. Alright, let's take... How much room do I have? I do not have much in the way of room. I need to... Store some of this stuff in a box. Yeah. Yeah, I could have used those there, in there. Well, I can replace them. Easily enough done. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in this box. Because we're gonna use this later anyway. Um, I'll need some of those, but not all of those. I'll put these lights in here for now. Uh, they'll be used later, though. Oh, definitely this biomass. Oh, I should set up that recycling for the biomass, too. That... These furnaces and stuff, too. That should do it for now, though. Uh, we should do that biomass recycling before the end of this episode, though. Just for fun. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where were we at? We were here. Oh, yeah, we are taking this down. Long demolition time. And then we can come out here. And I'm just going to make another large-ish slab. More biomass. Get some more biomass. And then I can put this down. I can find the right spot. Ah! If I can not fall off of things. There we go. Uh, where were we at? Here. So I guess I want it to be like right here. So I made way too much room. And this might bite me in the butt later because I might need to expand these. Although maybe by then we'll be doing this uh, differently. Uh, let's output here. Input here. Belt. Go here. And there's our green science. We need to go back around to the other side. And... Oops. Oops. Finish construction, and here come the science packs. Okay, so, uh, let's see. I guess I need... I don't know where it is. Oh yeah, I guess I need these two in here. Actually, I didn't need all of them in there anyway. Control Z this. And stand where I can not fall, hopefully. 
there and there. Oh crap. There you go. All right, so those are getting loaded in. That means we can go here. And uh, let's look at the whole tech tree. I think I want to do piping next. I think I want to work our way toward Olamite. Um, and maybe we could even do the scan for Olamite, although I know where there's some, so we don't really need to do the scan. Uh, Mark three belts, tier three belts we don't really need. Um, getting into energy cells and that, I think we would need to have. We, don't, we can't do those yet anyway. Uh, it's only the gray ones we can actually do. Third lane loader, we don't really need just yet anyway. Uh, drilling speed, inventory, inventory size would be useful, but that's quite expensive. And... Um, we need to do concrete production yet. It's weird that it's showing up as white. Don't know why that is. I think doing the pipes is best because then we can get into the pump jacks and the chemical processing and things like that. So let's do the pipes. It gets us pipe, a uh, pipe loader and a plumber tool. Oh, nice. Cost five biomass. Oh dear God. Okay, start that research. Uh, so we've got eight of those packs already made. It's gonna take another few minutes to make those. Yep, I got work to do here. And uh, let's come back over here. Pick up this stuff here that I dropped off. Also, let's go over here and pick up the rest of the biomass. Don't have room for it all. Uh, in that case, I don't want to take all of it anyway. And let's make another uh, logistic container. One. Down here. with this a logistic container would go there loader would go here and then it would get merged in I think that'll work let's take some of this up I don't have room for it dang it uh, logistic container go down There, you get all the biomass in my inventory. Uh, you get a loader output. Belt goes there. That means this gets deleted and that gets deleted. And that's, wow, got lucky. Uh, we need one of these here. And then we need... see where this goes. Now, without falling, I can't. Oh, here it is. There. This will be an input priority from the left, so that it'll burn through the biomass that I dump into here. Um, and whatever else I dump into here, before it uses the um, igneum fuel rods. And that way I can get rid of things I don't need, even if I pick up Ignium, I could even drop that in this box, too, and it would get used first. That's kind of useful, I think, at least. Um, so I think all this can get ripped up now. These two guys can go. And go down to the other end. Connect it up like the others. Stand on this intake. That would be perfect. Uh, should go here then. And here. And I need to put down some more foundation. Like that. And then make this just a little bit bigger as well. 
that. Uh, I need more loaders. These are input loaders going here and going there. And then you connect to here and you connect to here. Grid stats, all the grids. So we have lots of power that we can reduce now. Um, and then it's just tearing down the, the stuff that's here uh, left over from the old Ignium processing, which I can do off camera. There's no reason to keep you all uh, here and and uh, tied up with this. I will also probably uh, just straighten this belt out one way or the other here uh, and take that, take that distributor out. Um, so I think we're good here. And uh, what this means is, oh, we almost have the piping done too. We need eight more left, which that's uh, four minutes more. So we're not gonna stick around for that long. But what, we, um, uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take another short break from Foundry to uh, revisit uh, another game. For those of you who are watching live, of course, uh, or watching live, watching um, as it's released, um, the next couple of days, I would say, at least, will be uh, the Planet Crafter. And then once uh, we've gone through the new content that just came out a couple of couple of days before you're listening to this, uh, we will come back and continue Foundry and continue through the rest of the tech tree. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.